Hello and welcome to our reading session. Story, the story title, Moonwalk, and we're going to solve the questions from the worksheets. This is part part two. Um, yes, okay. I know we have discussed this page in the uh, virtual class, but I included it here be for these uh, sweet girls who could not attend so the first question this is page 52 um, and uh, match the word with the meaning so the first word runt which word could possibly mean runt it's yes nice smallest do you like my bouncing balls okay so please write if you didn't write in your book please write now in your booklet taunted so which word could mean taunted is tumbled or ditch or teased the word is teased wow i like these bouncing circles and the trench is also a ditch and here staggered means stumbled okay okay so let's go to this uh, to the other question arrange the events in order in the same order they happened or they occurred in the story we have the first one of course the last one i forgot to make it disappear so uh we have dad went to inspect the new telescope and dad told the boys to stay in the shelter and then Vern and Jerry went for a moonwalk. Vern and Jerry used their microphones. The microphones is the last one. So which which sentence is the first? Uh, we can expect that at the beginning their dad told them to stay in the shelter before he goes to inspect the telescope. And then uh, Vern and Jerry went for a moonwalk. And the last thing here in these uh, in these uh, events that when they use their microphones to speak to each other. Okay, please do these pages in your book. Okay, so let's go to the true and false in the in the same page of fifty two. Vern floats like a cloud when he jumps over the crack because the moon has as much gravity as Earth. Is this correct? No, it's not correct. I like these jumping things. Uh, it's not correct, it's false. And how to correct it? What are the mistake in the sentence? Uh, you can expect that it's the moon gravity. The moon gravity is one fifth of the uh, gravity of the earth. It's not the same at all. So we're going to cross out this part and this part as well and write uh, that the moon has less gravity than earth you can pause this video to write in your booklet okay so number two Vern doesn't answer when Jerry calls out to him uh, because his radio wasn't working so he was he didn't uh, he didn't uh, he doesn't answer when Jerry calls him because his radio stopped working. Is this correct? Yes, certainly. This is correct. They cannot hear each other unless through the, the radio uh, devices. Okay, number three. Vern collapses. Collapses means faints or uh, falls down and be unconscious. Uh, Vern collapses because his radio wasn't working. Did he collapse because the radio wasn't working? Or because, uh, what else, what didn't work? It's uh, the suit. There was the air circulation pumps in the suit wasn't working. And we are going to cross out his radio and write the air pump. His air pump. Okay, so number four. Oh, it's false before I read it. Okay, Vern was safe once he was back inside the shelter because it had a medical station with first aid equipment. Did he need even first aid? 
uh, no, in the in our story, he didn't need first aid, and we didn't see him receiving first aid. Um, uh, but the room that they entered at the beginning of the shelter was called the airlock. It's so the airlock room where you will find uh, they found the uh, oxygen supply and also the temperature control. So we're going to cross out medical station as well as first aid equipment and write air supply and temperature control inside uh, the shelter. This is what made him safe. Okay. To so the next page of 53. Now here, how do you describe, how would you describe Vern? Can we describe Vern? Yes, I guess. Vern didn't care about uh, what his dad told them and Vern also and Vern also uh, so first he didn't listen to his dad he broke the rules and he likes to take risks because at the beginning he didn't uh, it wasn't enough for him to go uh, and walk on the moon and to jump over the first trail but um, he wanted more he wanted like adventures he wanted to uh, a wider rail to jump over it so we can say about Vern that he is a risk taker means he, he uh, likes to take risks and often doesn't follow the rules he doesn't follow any rules and he enjoys taunting his brother what about this uh, how did he taunt his, br his brother he called him a runt yes and Vern also cares, yes, but by the way, uh, though he was taunting his brother or laughing at him and he put his brother in this very serious situation and himself, uh, also he cared, he was, he cared about his brother and uh, uh, the first time when he was jumping, he held his brother to uh, prevent him from falling. So also Vern also cares about his brother and keeps him from falling. This is at the beginning of the story. Okay, number two. Why do you think Jerry agrees to do something his father told him not to do? Uh, so Jerry at the beginning said, no, we shouldn't go out of the shelter. Our dad said we have to stay in the shelter before he goes out. So though he knows what we, what was he doing was wrong, uh, he listened to Vern. What do you think? Why? Yes, at the beginning of the story, Vern challenged him and called him runt and scared and so Jerry wanted to prove to Vern that he was not scared that's why he followed him Vern challenged him challenged uh, Jerry Jerry didn't want Vern to know he was scared okay yes you can pause this video now and write these answers in very good handwriting in your book in your sheet okay to move on it's at the same page and now this is number three why is the sun's arrival dangerous why do you think when the sun rises on the moon this is going to be very dangerous where can we find the answer in our textbook here we can find it in this page oh my gosh Vern said the sun Jerry saw that daylight had crept across the floor of the crater and was almost upon them. He knew that without electricity, Vern's cooling system... Yes, this is what we want. What is the danger of the sun? The danger of the sun is that Vern cooling system and heat radiator wouldn't work because there was no electricity and once they were there uh, they were in sunlight the temperature would soar to 200 let's move on number four why doesn't Vern care that his dad is on his way at the la at the very end of the story he didn't care about uh, uh, when when, Jer when Jerry said uh, the tractor is here means our dad is here he didn't care why I guess because he was very happy he was saved this is the part of the story this is page 300, uh, 305 and uh, yes what dad's on his way back 
and he's saying you saved me runt uh, Verne didn't care why because he was so occupied that his little brother saved him you saved him uh, now we are going to I guess you should read this passage I'm going to explain to you how to answer the comprehension passages uh, especially for the exams or for the quizzes okay I'm going to read very quickly we uh, we have to do this and then go to the uh, questions and find the answers in the passage very quickly the race the children lined up in the middle of the dirt road just the oldest stood on the far side leaning forward beside him Thomas stuffed a paper bag book into uh, the pocket of his pants next came mary tall and relaxed only an inch or two shorter than jess ruthie was on the end she studied the row of bare feet in the dust they were all bigger than hers all fidgety and inching to run so this is the first paragraph we have how many uh, how many kids to the, uh, to the questions uh, what clue word in the second paragraph tell the reader who started running first? Okay, so now we want Now question number two who reached the pine tree first? I found this in the passage and I kept it for you Thomas soon where did the pine tree just reach it the pine tree? Uh, number three, what did Ruthie and Thomas do as Jess and Mary turned and ran toward them? What did they do? We are gonna find this here, by the way. It's uh, the same paragraph. They, here, Jess reached the pine tree and, and this is the last one. Uh, where, when did Mary say she could run farther than Jess. When did she say she could run farther than uh, than Jess? Uh, when? Ruthie remembers. Yes, I found the answer here. Ruthie remembers that Mary had insisted the race must be uh, to the tree and back. That's a long way to run, Jess had said. So, remember question to go why did Mary smile at Ruthie and Thomas uh, just before she passed Jess after she passed Jess she was going to the finish line and Jess she passed Jess so me this means that Jess was behind her and Ruthie and Thomas were, had already stopped so who's going to win the race Mary is going to win the race so she smiled because she won the race or she was going to win the race okay that's all for now and please do the other two pages the comprehension uh, uh, page and have a good day thank you